Sometimes on the homestead, something stinks. A mouse. <laughs> it's a mouse. Made four times. <laughs> Woo, this doesn't work out. I am getting tired. So, not only does your animal poop kind of stink on the homestead, but sometimes your washing machine starts to stink. So we're, Monster Truck and I are digging in today. We've never been in a washing machine before, but we're gonna take a look in here because it is stinky and we're not sure what's going on in here, but we think maybe, just maybe, something crawled in there and died. So it really reeks in here right now. So right. we're taking it apart and we're getting in here and figuring out how to pull it apart. Mm -hmm. So Monster Truck, I want you to get this there okay. and pull it up and we're gonna see how we can take this out if it can come out. I might have to actually unscrew the, this and the base to pull it out. Unscrew. Yes, and then sometimes our washing machine. Um, there's machine something in there that you can unscrew. Makes a bunch of noise. What if you put it on there? It is. Um, it makes a lot of noise. So I think that may be one of our our parts parts here. I forget what they're called. Um, Can you get that? Might be needed to replace. What is in there? That's for a fabric softener. That's a softener dispenser. So I might actually have to get a tool to unhook that and pull this apart and get it off of there so we can take this base off. Okay. So we'll do that and then we'll come back. All right. All right, so guys, today Pop Pepper is gone and we're trying to open up the washing machine because we did something jump down in there and died because it stinks. And right now, Mama and Monster Truck are trying to get the, thing, the washing machine open so you can see what fell down there. Well, Sweet Pepper's hanging on to the baby and the Bugger and Belle are playing outside. Pinky is giving water to the cow and horse and the sheep. So, yeah, and I'm bidding. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what is going on right now. That works. Okay, can you duck down a little bit? There you go. Mm -hmm. Alright, pull it. Step is out. Oh, I'll grab it. Alright, no 
know. Now what's that gonna do? <laughs> I don't know where we go from there. We got the screw out. We might need some the strong screw hands. The screw smells like washing detergent. Okay. Dad, I think we need your strong arms to help us here. No, oh, this one's your project, right? Does it have my name all over it? <laughs> um, there's a screw. We have been trying to get this thing out for two days now. Yes, since yesterday. Uh, Papa finally found us out. the right piece to get it out. And Papa finally came home. That's right. That too. All right, so now what do we do? We're going to have to take this out, right? Oh, yeah, that's true. It doesn't fit out. Of course we do. Smart girl. Somebody popped it back on, huh? I don't know if it's not. Bungee cord. Where is it? Right over there. Can you grab that bungee cord over there? Can you hold that there? Yep, right there. We're just going to strap her back. Can you get this hooked up back there? To that white one? Yeah. On the middle. The last one? Like the middle part there. So it doesn't slide. Yeah, so it doesn't slide. You got it. It's nice. Okay, now what do we do? Pull the whole thing off of there? No. I don't know how to pull it out from there. Like I said, you might need your hands, Papa. I don't think that's how you do it, is it? Alright, why don't you hold the top? I'll try to see if this thing's off or not. What a second, guys. Supposed to just come off of the I'm not sure. Maybe you took the screw off, but then now what? I'm pushing now. Maybe I have to twist this thing off now. Oh, wait, I don't even know. Darling, I don't know. It's supposed to come out of here. We took the screw out. I'll just take the whole lid off and lift the whole thing out. It doesn't come out. No, it doesn't. What happens when you lift? Let me see, can you... It went into here. Well, it's attached to these things here that hold it up, whatever they're called, I forget what they're called, but... I'm not sure, it's just still stuck on there. Can you lift it up and you lift it up from that side? I'm not sure to pull it up. No, this one, this one. There. We have to pull the white case with it. Do we have to twist it off? Somehow it's supposed to twist out of here. But I'm not sure what's next. <laughs> You unplugged it, right? Yes, we unplugged it. That's safer. Yes, um, I don't know. Oops. Um, are you clean yet? Nope. What? I'm trying to get this piece out of here. Is it working? I got it. Darling. Oh. Well, we could wash our washing machine, it appears. Yeah. This makes me not want to wa have a washing machine. I just want to wash it in buckets now. This is gross. We can go back to that. Ugh. We can go back to that. I think it may be hand wash clothes is probably cleaner. What do you guys think? Yeah, let us know. Have you guys ever washed your really clothes wash by hand? Does this thing really wash your clothes? Does it even really make it clean? I think it just gets them wet and puts soap on them, right? <laughs> I can do that in the toilet. Hang it on the clothesline? And flush it for a spin dry. Uh, all right, come take a peek. Mm. Oh, is that the mouse? Is that the dead mouse there? Shine a light on it. No, that's coins. That's a mess. Oh, what is that? Is oh. that coins? My light just went off. I had another one. Somebody right. grab a oh, flashlight. Um, Children, move your heads and grab a flashlight yeah. to health. It's right behind you. That one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. Okay. I don't know. This one works. Not that well though. There we okay, go. Okay, right. That is coins. That's coins. Is that a spot of mold? Where? That white fuzzy thing? Oh, my guy. Really? Uh, that white no, fuzzy. that's oh, a little piece of like, cotton. Yeah. All right, so then what's the next step from here? I don't know. The mouse must be lower. It still stinks. <laughs> hey, Belle, uh, does that smell like death in there? Oh boy. Oh, hey. Little girl, does that smell like death in there? Hmm? Stinky? So I got this thing out. That was hard to get out. I had to jump in there and get that out. And now 
I can pull this up and out. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment. And we're gonna see what's underneath here. We think it's a mouse. Hey. Dun, dun, dun! The moment we've all been waiting for. I just don't know what to do with it after I lift it up. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if maybe something else is over there. Cause, but Ew. it makes sense if there's a mouse. Look how yucky the side of that is. Oh, wow. Look at all that cruddy stuff. It's just gross. So we've had this washing machine since 2018. And this is how gross it is because we haven't really cleaned it, I guess. I think I'm gonna have to get some of those, um, order some of those washing machine um, packets that you just dump in here and it washes your washing machine. I think I'm gonna do that. Cause taking this apart is gonna be so much work every time. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna do this every time. Okay, here comes, machine. here comes. Okay, hold on. I think I'm gonna need some help. Cause I can't. Yeah. Pull it up any further. Okay, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna need an assistant. Okay. Let's do these. I still. <laughs> I want it to come out. <laughs> Purple. No. All right, just tip it. Tip it my way. Alright, peek under there. Okay, see? it is a mouse. <laughs> it's a mouse! Gross! Does it look disgusting? It's right there. You can barely tell it's a mouse. I don't want to touch the bottom of it. No, okay, let I me am. see. Right there. What's it? Oh. It's been washed a few times, it looks like. Gross. Where is it? See, that's why I gotta wash my clothes on the clothesline that I washed in here recently. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna rewash it because that's gross. Okay, why don't you let them take a peek? We'll put the flashlight on there. Okay. I don't know if that flashlight is working. Are you ready? Yeah, that flashlight is working right now. Oh, it's not working. Yeah. So there is oh, the. Oh, there it is. Hand. So there's the mouse right there. Gross. There you have it, folks. The stink on the homestead. A dead mouse under the wash machine base. Yuck. Oh. It looks like right over there is the, is that a drain hole over there? Okay, yeah. So. There's no way the mouse is going to be able to fit through there. We were trying to drain the wash machine, but um, before we tried to pull the base out, but there's no way this crusty mouse on there was going to get out of there come out through that hole or and anything. it looks like it's pretty stuck on there it is stuck on. oh there. who's gonna scrape it dad dad's gonna scrape it I don't know that that's gonna work <laughs> do you think we'll have any volunteers that want to scrape it maybe a monster truck wants to scrape it I'll scrape it for you you'll you, scrape it if you let me wow you want to scrape it what a lady that's awesome. I don't want to scrape it. Look at all this. Look at that. Show them the maggots that are growing under there. Oh, I think the, let me get my flashlight. I think that the, the dead mouse attracted these flies and they came in here and laid their maggots on the bottom of this. I gotta get this. Okay, it's having a little on. trouble focusing. Get that close up. That's just gross. I'm glad we took it apart. We are gonna wash this thing well, out outside. Can you see that? Of those. Right there. Oh. Those ones are hatched. Yeah. And then there's maggots down oh, there. Gross. Also, right How are we going to wash the there. base out down there, I wonder? No idea. I guess we could, well, with that drain, we'll just drain it out. You'll spatula out that mouse and... I could use a piece of wood. Or I could use a machete. Oh, chops off. Be careful. Wow, all right. Well, we're going to take this outside, and we're going to wash this baby down. And hopefully it looks brand new when we're done. Something like that. Get it or cleaned close up. close to that. Whew. 
Well, I am so glad we got this taken apart because I need to wash some clothes bad. The clothes is piling up. And for a moment there, I was struggling to take this thing off after I pulled the screw off. It was not coming off, but once I got my legs in there and just kind of pulled up slowly and then I would turn it and then pull it up a little bit slowly, it started to come up off the, the base of the wash machine. But that's gross too. Look at the bottom of that. Disgusting. Yep. Yeah. It looks like a lot of that might be even just the um, the clay on some of the clothes? kids' clothes or Papa's clothes. clothes. That's just getting all gunked up on here. So, all right. in the wash machine. They give it a scrub and I'm just gonna let it sit for a few minutes. And then I'm gonna rinse it. I need some more Donda soap. And probably some more baking soda. Vinegar on it. I have some vinegar on it. Here we go. Oh yeah. It sure got clean fast. Lots of it's white now. A little action here. Bubble action. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 
sit there for a few minutes and let it do its thing. Maybe it'll get that rest of that yucky stuff off of there and then we'll come back and give it another little scrub. I'm gonna scrub puppy. the outside. Puppy. Yes, there's a puppy on there. Look at that. Yeah. I can actually see that again. Wow. <laughs> Give it a little spray, just a little spray. Thank you. Okay, put it back. Thank you for helping. Thank you. I think I need a little bit of water. I'll turn it on for you. Okay. You want to turn it on? Turn on a little bit more. All right, thank you. Hey, no, keep it off. No. Oh, for your pond? Well, your pond is going to be like that for now. Up there too. 
Okay. She thinks you just said you needed more. Thank you. That's good. Okay, I see it. Now sit it down now. Can you put it back over there for Mama? Mommy. Can you sit it right there? Here, watch. Okay. Then I think I'm just going to let this sit as well for a little bit, and I'm going to do the bottom. Tip her over. Sure, I'm going to need some down here. This is gross. Okay, that's good. That's good. That should do it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. That's looking a lot better. I'm glad I got the those coins out of there. Because that might be messing up our, our uh, what do you call it? Washer. The agitator in there. Because my last clothes did not look very clean. That's clothes, hanging on the clothesline. It still looked like it had stuff on it, so maybe that wasn't able to, the agitator wasn't able to turn very well with those pennies in there with six cents. <laughs> so I'm glad I got that out of there. This is not the way I was hoping this was gonna go, but now I get to clean my whole washing machine, but it makes me happy to make it clean because it was gross. You want a little bit more? Okay, just a little bit more. And then hopefully it'll work better. Clean our clothes better. All that. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right, now you can shut it out. And you can go set it by the tree. Mom, do you want any vinegar to go on there? Sure. Yeah. You want to help me with that? Yeah. That'd be great, because my hands are all gross and soapy. All right, you think you can bring that over? Yeah. Can you open it and pour it for me? Me do my one. She it? said, me do my one. My yeah. hand. Your hand? Yeah. She Ow. said, me I'll not able it. to do it with I'll my hand. It. There you go. I got it. You just pour some on here for me, okay, with strong hands. Are you homestead tough lids? Are you homestead tough? Careful, Belle. Okay. Good, All right, good, that's good, enough. That's good. Thank you. Put the lid back on there. That's good. That'll clean up all that really good. Do you like helping Mama Belle? Put the lid on or it might fall out. Yeah, I mean, put fill the lid out. Back on. All right. And give us another little scrub here. And get more of that stuff off. Oh. She's wondering if she should put Nixol on it. Here, you can give it a little spray. Go ahead. Okay, that, that's good. Very good. That's probably where the mouse was, too. Somewhere around here. Can disinfect that. All right, that's good. Okay, go put it back for mom, please. Thank you. We'll spray this all down with some of that again in a little bit after we get it all rinsed off. No, not dog. That's dog for wash. the dogs. That's dog shampoo. This is not a dog. Not a dog. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> Love you. Love you, cutie. Last night, yeah, it was last night. She was asking me if elops were real, if elephants were real, and if wolves were real, and she was wondering if things were real. Wow. Because I told her that some things, she was asking about a few other things, I told her that those weren't real. Okay. And that um, I was telling her that those were real because she wasn't sure if they were real. Okay. You need to wash hands? All right, go over by your pond over there and I'll turn the water on. Oh, you're gonna turn it on? I think she's... Turn it on. Yeah, turn it on. You can't? No! There, it's going. Wait, can I stop videoing now? Yep. I think it's time for a rinse. I'm gonna rinse it off, and then I'm gonna have to probably wake up early and finish this job tomorrow.
did not get all of it off. I'm probably gonna have to get some more baking soda off and ran out and just let it sit on here to get the rest of the stuff off. I don't know, it may not come off though. It's pretty stuck on there. And then there's still some left in there that did not come off. So I need a pretty good scrubber. Something better than that little scrub brush to get that off. But the bottom's pretty clean. There's some dirt there. So. So my lady, how have you been enjoying doing the laundry? Um, laundry is going great. Is it now. easier? Yes. So what you saw was Mama Pepper taking care of business. She's not going to sit around and wait for something to be done if she can figure it out herself. I was not around much. In fact, a couple of my days, I'd take off at like 6 in the morning and get back at like midnight and then leave at like 7 the next day and then get back at like midnight and then take off at like 6 the next morning. I was basically here to sleep. so. That's why uh, on a days like that, I can't. I can't put out a lot of uh, videos. I can't make videos. Left the camera home for Mama to do some stuff. I can't be here fixing stuff if that's the way my work schedule's going. And just so you know, you may have seen that videos on this channel slowed down a little bit. That's why. And you may have seen that. But how are you able to put out so many fishing videos on your new fishing channel? Well, I can go fishing once, spend a couple hours there, and shoot like 10 different videos while we're there. So for me to edit like a five or six minute video while I'm traveling and I got a pile of just stuff from one day fishing. Um, that made sense. And what do we get from fishing? Gar. Gar. Tasty gar, food. Gar. Tasty food. In fact, our anniversary is yes. coming up and Mama was reminding me of that because a friend of mine wanted to go fishing. I'm like, oh, you're right. I should remember our anniversary is coming up. I better get some fresh fish. She goes, well, if it's gar or drum. <laughs> so how was your project though? It was tough. We had a hard time finding the right uh, tool. We need um, some sort of a um, socket with an extension, a very long extension, like, I don't know how long. <laughs> I don't think I ever used a tool that long in my life. I mean, except for like a vacuum hose attachment, I guess, sure. but not a socket set wrench thing. Yeah. But that was pretty crazy. Um, it started out with, um, I'll check that because. with it started out with me and monster truck trying to figure it out and then we had to stop because we needed that tool we couldn't find the tool so we um, asked one of our neighbors for help to try to find the tool then he finally found the tool and then some of our parts the attachments didn't fit for the right um, size of the bolt and the bolt was like I don't know maybe this that deep down the hole deep, right down at the bottom of the hole and there's um, like a funnel type thing where the fabric softener is supposed to go in to get that out. So then we finally, I think Papa found the size that we needed a I few days later. I passed through and dropped off some stuff for her <laughs> to continue. So then I finally got the screw or the bolt out of there. Got that out of there. I'm like, okay, now what? So pulled it out and I couldn't get the agitator off. So then I'm like, okay, this is not going to work. How am I supposed to take this off? It stinks really bad in here. It's been here for days. Papa's working. He can't get this done. I have to get this done. So um, I hopped in there, put my legs in there, and I started to pull on it. And it wasn't coming up. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't know. Tried to kind of wiggle it a little bit more and just kind of pull it and wiggle and pull and turn and pull and it finally came out. So that was amazing. And I think after we pulled the agitator out, then we had to pull the whole wash basket out as well. So we had to learn how to unclick the edges of the wash basket out. And I think Monster Truck helped me with that. He helped me pop all those out. Pulled that out and finally we saw this flat, crunchy mouse at the bottom of the wash machine. It, it's done horribly. And she doesn't even like live mice, so <laughs> to have a dead mouse inside the washing machine. My favorite part, guys, of course her taking the lead role on that, disassembling the whole thing and getting to the problem, that's awesome. But if you can't put it back together right where you have a functioning washing machine by the end of it, then you just killed not only that mouse, but you killed the washing machine. <laughs> So she did not kill the washing machine. I did not. That awesome. was exciting because 
I have never taken apart a washing machine in my life, but I figured the only way I'm going to learn how to do this is if I work on it and figure it out. And so, you unplugged it? And I mean, I know. unplugged it. I shut the water off. I did watch a quick, a few quick little videos on how to take the wash basket out, but hey, um, they weren't exactly, you know, the same type of wash machine that I had, so I had to kind of figure some things out. And so I had an idea of how to do something, but I wasn't sure how to do it on mine exactly. But so I got it figured out, and then I asked for volunteers, and. Pinky decided that she was going to take the mouse out of there and scrape it out. And so I was really glad for that because I did not want to do it myself. It was so gross. Eee. So she scraped that out, got in there, scraped it out, went and tossed it in the fire pit so we could char it. Burn it <laughs> Burn up. It up. <laughs> Remove it from existence. And then that night I just poured some apple cider vinegar where the mouse was on that wash basket and there was so much dirt down there just kind of dried up dirt it looked like mud almost so the next day I believe maybe it was the next day or maybe it was even another day after that I was able to scrape all that dirt out scrape all the edges off and we just brought some pitchers of water and started rinsing it out really well and then the drain plug was not attached on the underneath because one of our friends came to help us drain it and that's why the mouse was all crunchy and dry when we took the wash basket out but so when I was washing it the water started to spill it down below and I didn't know how to put the drain piece back on and of course you need more than one person to somebody to lift the wash machine and somebody to put a bucket down below to catch the water so pinky and another one of our friends helped us with that and it worked out after all of that but it was a lot of work to take that thing apart but i'm glad we did because it works a lot better it had a lot of knocking sounds that it was doing and i checked all of the what do you call them the levelers the uh, buttons, the feet? no they're like the springs oh um, okay on each side i forget what they're called some sort of balance here. yeah um, so i checked all of those because i actually watched a video on if your machine makes noise, maybe you have to replace one of those. What are you doing? So I'm like, okay, I'll try to pull those out. That was really hard to pull those out because it was really heavy. Right off but camera right it. now, <laughs> we've got Chili Pepper who's eight and a half months old and he keeps standing up and he's, I'll show you guys that in a minute here. He's having a lot of fun right here. That's why I'm acting weird and distracted. So, um, what else what was I saying here? Mm, you got the things, all the springs were good up and going. Oh, so yes. It actually works better now. Whoa! So he it's fell working over. a lot smoother. We did hear a lot, a really loud, like. It wasn't, it was like a screech sound that it made <laughs> yesterday. A lot of the washes were good, but one of the washes was just like. You know, and it's like, oh boy, what was that? I don't know. Boink. But most of the time, it doesn't very make very much noise anymore. It's pretty quiet. So that's. A plus, it's cleaned out, you know, as best as I can clean it out. I think I'm going to get one of those wash machine, um, your washer packets to clean that oh, out sure. online and try those because it's it's a lot of work to pull it all out. But, like I said, I'm glad that I did it because now it's much cleaner and I feel better about washing my clothes in there. And no more dead mouse. <laughs> so, no more dead mouse. So, that is great. That's the grossest job we had on our homestead in a while, and Mama Pepper had to do it pretty much solo. You want to show them how you stand? Okay. Hey, buddy. Chili, stand up. Look, Mom, no hands. Hey. Stand up all the way. There you go. You can let him let go of your mama. And look at this guy. Look at his face. How happy are you? And he likes it when I tell him, hey. Hey! He's just standing there. There's our camera stand, by the way. <laughs> hey! Buddy, what are you doing? Don't eat the paper. Show them how you stand. Show them. Yeah. Now he started trying to stand and stuff so quickly we weren't sure if he was even going to crawl. But he does. Eight and a half months old. Whoa! And he'll clap too. Mama, you do a couple claps and see if he'll join you. He just started clapping. Oh. Do you want to clap? Yeah, do you want to clap your mama? 
Hey, buddy. Hey, where's Papa? Hey, buddy. What's going on? How are you so happy? He's a happy baby, too. He's a real joy. And he's learning a lot. How's he at eating right now, my lady? Oh, he's eating. He's amazing, right? He does a good job eating. He wants to try it all, and he does a good job just playing on the floor, too. <laughs> he does. Well, uh, probably for the next video, we've got some exciting news with some ducks hatching. Stay tuned for that. But that's a little bit of a rundown of some of what we've been up to lately. And uh, yeah, for all of you guys who are checking out the fishing channel, definitely appreciate that. Um, just gives us something else to do. And I'll file most of our adventures over there in shorter videos and uh, most of our fishing adventures. The rest of life will just be on this channel for now. Um, I'm not doing my major split I was thinking about. Thanks to you guys giving input and advice. And um, yeah, thank you mama for running some camera while I was gone and giving us more content to put up for you guys. We'll see you next time. Mom out. Thank you, my